hello namaste everyone today in this video we are going to know about excretion in plants what is excretion excretion is the process of transpiration what is transpiration it is the process by which plants loses water in the form of vapor from their body parts we know that plant absorbs water from the soil for different activities so in that total water only 1% of water is utilized for metabolic activities the remaining 99% of water is expelled out through transpiration process so in that way transpiration helps in elimination of excess amount of water this transpiration occurs mainly through the stomata which are present on the leaves and along with that even the general body surface also helps in transpiration and along with that on the old stems we can find lenticels so lenticels are present on the stem so this all the parts helps in transpiration have you ever seen water droplets at the edges of the leaves have you ever seen like this water droplet this is due to a process known as guttation 
during this process the excess of water uh, oozes out at the edges the process small pores on it through that the water come out in this way along with transpiration guttation also helps in removal of excess of water from the plant body next process by which plant eliminate waste material is storing in most of the plants waste materials are eliminated by this process only so here in this process the plants store their metabolic waste in different parts of the plant so mainly like leaves bark and fruit when the leaves get old and fruits ripen so what happens they fall off from the tree so when they fall off so the waste materials which are stored in them separated from the main plant body when the bark peel off from the trunk then the waste which is stored in that also separated out from the plant body in some plants like am in that waste materials are uh, stored in the form of solid body called uh, raphides which are made up of calcium oxalate crystals in this way so plant stores metabolic waste in different parts of the plant like leaves fruits and in some plants seeds even roots and bark when these parts detached from their body so that waste materials automatically eliminated right so in this way storing and elimination helps in plants in excretion however most of these metabolic wastes which are stored in different parts of the plant body helps them to plants that means to the plants in defense mechanism why because these wastes are chemical compounds which are toxic to many animals so that's why they protect themselves from herbivores why because herbivores feed on plants as these chemicals are unpleasant to taste so herbivores avoid eating of that plants so in that way so here in defense mechanism that chemicals helps to the plants some plants they eliminate waste materials from their body in the form of gums and resins these gums and resins also helps to the plant in wound healing when plant get injured so the gums secreted by that plant and it helps in sealing of the wound look at this plant now i am plucking a leaf see here at the nodal region we can find a milky substance is oozing out see here you might have seen some plants uh, parts when we cut this kind of uh, milky substance oozes out this is called uh, latex this latex also a form it is a type of excretory material so some plants in the form of latex they eliminate their waste materials from their body these latexes also helps to the plant in defense mechanism against insects and also helps in wound healing process next diffusion by this process some waste materials like 
carbon dioxide and oxygen eliminated out during the photosynthesis plants releases oxygen as by product some amount of oxygen is utilized for respiration though it is useful for respiration when it accumulates in large quantity so it cause harm to the plant that's why plants by the diffusion process through stomata they eliminate and plants during respiration they release carbon dioxide that carbon dioxide during the day time they utilizes for photosynthesis the remaining carbon dioxide they diffuses out so that diffusion of carbon dioxide occurs both day and night but during the night time more amount of carbon dioxide diffuses out from the plant body through stomata so as we discussed so far plants excrete in different ways even though they lack organs to excrete metabolic waste so they have different ways to eliminate as we discussed so far through the transpiration excess amount of water elimination occurs along with the transpiration through guttation also some plants eliminate excess amount of water from their body and almost all the plants they store metabolic waste in different parts of their body and when they shed off from their body or when they fall off from their body so the waste materials automatically are removed out and some metabolic waste such as carbon dioxide and oxygen diffuses out through stomata and lenticels if we observe keenly the plants they are utilizing their metabolic waste for different activities that's why in plants the substances which formed during the metabolism can be classified into two types they are namely primary metabolites and secondary metabolites so primary metabolites are the metabolites which are useful for normal growth and development of the plant known as primary metabolites so example for these carbohydrates fats proteins so these are useful for normal growth and development of the plant as we know that during the metabolism along with useful substances some wastes are so produced that waste products which are not useful for normal growth and development of the plant known as uh, secondary metabolites so these secondary metabolites helps to the plant in giving protection against insects or any herbivores and in wound healing these secondary metabolites based on their chemical nature we can classify them into alkaloids tannins resins gums and latex this is how plants excrete we humans found medicinal and commercial commercial uses of uh, these secondary metabolites in the next video we will discuss about uses of secondary metabolites thank you